quick recap from our harvest service yesterday. We started off by thinking about the word harvest and asked how many words people could make just using the letters H-A-R-V-E-S-T. A day on and somebody's into their 70s uh, so far. Do you think you could do better than that? Our first word we made in the service uh, was earth. We thought about the wonderful world that God has made miraculously. Such a blessing to us. He's made it with plenty of food. We asked people to think about the strangest food that they've ever eaten. Or the most amazing thing they've ever seen in creation. It was great to hear from people in the service of their experiences of both these things. The second word we made from the word harvest was the word starve. And we thought about how tragic it is that one in 11 people in 2023 were hungry. Uh, faced hunger, I should say, in the world. And that number changes to one in five in Africa. It's sad in a world where there's plentiful food that, that these numbers exist. We thought about food parcels from food banks and reflected on the fact that in 2023, April to March 2024, 3.1 million emergency food parcels were distributed by Trussell Trust's food banks. And that number had nearly doubled from five years ago. In a country like ours, where there appears to be plenty, there's also such need. And it was such a privilege that all the items uh, from our harvest display were then donated uh, to our local food bank here in Trowbridge. So as we think about people starving, about people being hungry, we then move to our third word, which was to share. I got a packet of uh, chocolate fingers and suggested to the church that I should eat them all uh, while they watched. And as you can imagine, there was a great outcry of no. And so what we did, some of the children that wanted some came out the front, and I asked them if it was fair that we ate them and everyone else missed out on. Uh, and some of them weren't sure about that, but some of them were sure we should share too. So we counted up how many people there were in the church, and we cut the chocolate fingers up into the right number, and passed them round so that all could share. Plenty of food. Plenty of treats to go round, uh, but a bit of thought was needed that we might share our plentiful resources with the others uh, who were there. And finally, we made our final word, uh, which is heart. And we reflected on the fact that although God has given us plenty and there are people in need and we can share, we don't always choose to. So we ended by praying that God would give us his heart and that he would help us to care for people uh, who don't have what we have that we might share what we have with them. We thank God for his blessing and we choose to give to others and to share what he has first given to us.